Hi again, first graders. You made it back for day three of our week together. Thank you so much for coming back. Give yourself a high five. Nicely done. All right, we're going to finish up our work week together. Hopefully you know what have we been working on. We've been wondering about the book. So that's just one of the things that good readers do while we're reading. And I don't know if your teacher maybe had a chart that said what good readers do. I had a chart out when I taught first grader that looked kind of like this. And I made a small version of it so that we could see it together on the computer. So it says, what good readers do. Now, way back at the beginning of the school year, back when we were in school, maybe you talked about this one. Make connections to their lives. So here's the book, and there's you. And you're thinking about, what connection do I have to this book? So we were reading Chameleons. And maybe the connection I have is that I remember seeing a chameleon at a zoo before. So that's something that's happened in my life. And I've made a connection to a commit this. So, or maybe my connection could be even be something like, I sometimes get grumpy and I don't want to be bumped into. And that I also can make a connection to because we learned that chameleons don't really like being around people and they're, they're pretty grumpy all the time. So those are just a couple of connections that we can make between the book and ourselves. Another thing that good readers do is they make connections between books. So we've read this book, Chameleons Are Cool, and maybe you can make a connection to another book you've read. Maybe you've read another book about chameleons, or maybe you've read another book about a cool animal, and you'd be like, well, this book talked about chameleons are cool, but I've also read a book that talked about how birds were cool. And you know what? They both have a lot of good points in them. And so we've made a connection from one book to the other book. That is definitely something that good readers do. Another thing that good readers do is they retell the stories in their own words. So here's the book, and it goes into your brain, and then out comes your own words. So if I was to retell the stories of chameleons in my own words, if somebody's like, hey, you read any book, good books you lately? I'd be like, yeah, I did. I read this book about chameleons. I wouldn't need to just go grab the book of chameleons and read the whole thing to them again. I would just tell them in my own words. I'd be like, hey, I read this book about chameleons. It was super good. It talked about that they can be really big, like a cat, or they can be as tiny as a pinky. And then I would continue to go on and tell a retell. Do you remember? Do you think you can try? Can you go to your grown-up or your brother or sister or your cat or dog or your imaginary friend or your stuffed animal? And I want you to retell in your own words something you remember about this book, Chameleons. I'll wait. Did you do it? Did you tell something? All right, there's lots to retell. We think about the things that we said, and my words that come out of my mouth might be different than the author's words, but I'm telling the same ideas, and that is definitely something that good readers do. They retell stories in their own words. Another thing that they do is they visualize. I think you've learned about this in class before, too. Visualize. I like to call this making a mind movie, where you close your eyes and you really picture it inside your head. Like one thing I think would be fun to visualize, I think I talked about this, is the chameleon fights. Here we go. Now this book is just, it's a picture. It's a great picture, but it doesn't move. And the cool thing is if I'm visualizing, it can move in my head. So I can start off with this picture, and then I see these two chameleons coming, coming at each other and getting big. And remember, we learned that this is when they change color too. And so I'm able to pitch this. And the other cool part about visualizing is it's not just what you could see. Like I can also hear the branches cracking as they're, you know, as they're fighting around. And maybe I can smell the rainforest around me and I feel some of that humidity that's kind of around in a rainforest is kind of hot and damp. And so that's why visualizing is so cool because you can take what the author gives you and what the illustrator gives you and you can make it so much more by picturing in your mind. Definitely something that good readers do of visualizing. I think one of the coolest things about reading, this is, what, this is what keeps me coming back to books over and over again, is visualizing. 
there's more that good readers do. So good readers, we talked about this one all this week. They wonder about their reading. So there, you're asking questions. They wonder about the book. We had all week to practice this. And I know that you also filled in those journal entries about the things you learned and the things you wondered. Such a great thing and such a good thing for readers to do. And the last thing that good readers do that we're gonna talk about today is making connections to information they already know. So we already know a lot about a lot of things. I already knew, no, I wouldn't say a lot about chameleons, but I knew some things about chameleons. And so I connect the things that I already know about chameleons to things I learned. Like I knew that they changed colors, that I already knew, but then I learned that they changed colors, not to, for their surroundings, but because they're angry or cold or hot or sick. And so I connected, just like in this picture, I connected what I knew in my head to what I read in the book. And I made that connection. And, or maybe I could even connect of, well, I don't know a ton about chameleons, but I know a lot about crocodiles. And so you can make a connection between what you already know about crocodiles and you could connect it to chameleons. So once again, I wanna go over that again because these are really great things for good readers to do and that you could be doing all the time while you're reading. No matter what book you're reading, you can be doing these things. And remember, just because uh, it's Corona break, we are still making sure that we read because it's the best. So let's go over this chart one more time and then we'll get a chance to do that while we're reading. So what good readers do, they make connections to their lives. If you'd like to read along with me, you are welcome to do so. Make connections between books, retell stories in their own words, Visualize, my favorite. Wonder about what they're reading and make connections to information they already know. All right, so we're gonna practice this together as we do our independent reading. So right now, I want you to go find a nonfiction book. And I'm gonna wait, because I want you to go do it right now. See if you can go find one. It can be one that you've read before, or it can be a new one, but see if you can go find one. Hopefully you found one. If you haven't yet, pause it and go find one and then push play when you're back with the book. All right, so I went and found a book. I found this book and it is a nonfiction book that teaches about bridges and it's called Cross a Bridge. So this is the book that I'm gonna be reading, but I want you to read your own book. And guess what? We're gonna just kind of sit here and we're both gonna read together. I'm gonna read my book while I'm right here and you're gonna read your book while you're right over there. So we're gonna spend five minutes and I want you to start reading. So look at where you have started and remember that spot. And then we're gonna go back and talk about what you just read. So I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna put on my timer so that we know it's five minutes. And we're all going to read for five minutes. All right, ready, set, read.
one more minute left. Keep reading, keep doing what good readers do. Nice job, first graders. Good job on reading solid for five minutes. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, so we did some reading. Now we're going to write a little bit about what they're reading. So if your parents were able to print it out, you might have something that looks like this. It says journal entry for Friday, and it says write a journal entry about the book you are reading. Please include the title, what the book is out about, and one thing you learned from the book. If you don't have a piece of paper, or if you didn't have this printed out piece of paper, remember you can always just use a blank piece of paper because we're just basically going to be writing it here. So, I've got my writing utensil, and we're gonna write the title. So, I want you to go ahead, and if you don't have this, you can, um, you can just remember for when you do have this piece of paper, but if you wanna do it right now with me, let's do that together. So I would write the title. So I would write this book, is called Cross a Bridge. Book is called Cross a Bridge. So now I did the first part. I wrote the title. Second part is you need to write about what it's about. Well, this book is about different kinds of bridges and how bridges have changed. So I could write a sentence that said, this book is about different bridges and how bridges changed from way back a long time ago to now. And so that would be my sentence about bridges. You're gonna write your sentence about whatever book your book is about. And you're writing what the book is about. Then the last thing you're gonna do is what is one thing you learned from the book? So one thing I learned from this book is that they used to make bridges out of animal skins even, which I don't think I-90 bridge is made out of animal skins. So, but that's something that they used to do. So I could write that that is one thing I learned from the book and I would write that sentence down. And then I would have a journal entry and my journal entry would include the title, what the book is about, and one thing I learned. Can you remember that? See if we can do that together. The book is gonna include the title and what the book is about and one thing you learned. So you're gonna go ahead and fill out that journal entry, whether on a piece of paper that your parents printed out or just a blank piece of paper. And we are all done with this book, with this week. You guys did such a fantastic job. Thank you so much for watching all three videos. Thank you so much for doing what good readers do. Thank you so much for wondering about the book with me as we learned about chameleons. This has been so great. I'm gonna be doing this again next week and we're gonna be reading a book about birds. And we're going to be doing what more of what good readers do. So I hope I see you next week, too. Have a great day. Thank you so much, first graders. Bye.